KSL News starts now. Today, we are taking action. An unprecedented joint operation in the Rio Grande neighborhood. You may, may remember this. It's now been three weeks since Salt Lake City and Salt Lake County launched Operation Diversion. The purpose was to separate criminals and drug dealers from the addicts and needy to help address what's become a homeless crisis just west of downtown. Yeah, and three weeks later, we put news specialist Andrew Adams out on the street to gauge whether neighbors believe it's working. And Andrew, what did you find out? Well, Ed, keep in mind that temperatures are dropping. The weather is doing its part to take people off the street. But what businesses here are noticing are some, is something that extends beyond that. Under construction. Right here we are putting in a parking arm so it'll be a controlled entry. The Rio Grande Depot installing new security measures. There's a gate over here that is just a pedestrian gate around the corner of the building. That's key access only now. Josh Lofton says the goal is to stop a regular stream of cars that don't come here to die. People who are just in and out really quickly. Drug traffic? Drug or? traffic, yes. They were coming out there. That's generally, I think, what, what it was. Three weeks since Operation Diversion began, everything remains a work in progress, including the infrastructure. <laughs> Police have made more than 130 arrests with the hope of getting many of those people help with their addictions and mental health. So some of them did actually go back to jail after they uh, walked away from those programs. Salt Lake City and County are in the process of evaluating how effective the program has been. What we could do differently, what we could do better, and move forward from there. Anecdotally, though. It does feel thinned out. There is, there is definitely a, a smaller crowd. Lofton believes the difference outside the depot's doors is due to more than just the changing weather. Yes, there's been a, ch a change and an improvement, but it's nowhere near what we need. Rio Grande Cafe owner Pete Henderson says while police are making a difference, far more needs to change to rebuild the area. It's not a fix. It's not a fix for the homeless people, and it's certainly not a fix for this neighborhood. Of course, the city will tell you that Operation Diversion is just part of a comprehensive strategy. The city council recently set aside $30 million to help out issues like affordable housing and some new homeless resource centers. So they say they're trying to get the job done. Business owners just hope that it happens sooner than later. Thank you. Andrew, live for us tonight in Salt Lake. Thank you, Andrew. This week in Carbon County.